AKD almost came to donning robes. Lies, mud and falsehoods. Gammon Peeler's strange talk to AKD. Trouble everywhere, but no evading the election. AKD follows Ranil's path. The leader, Deshita Magakiena, Prorti Belagasma. AKD almost came to donning robes. AKD's mother says she didn't relent when the temple monk wanted him to be a monk at age 12. At six months, his horoscope said he would become a ruler. Unlike his predecessors, AKD's path to the executive presidency was not a bed of roses. He had to face many hardships. His mother, D.M. Silawathi, found her son to be an avid reader from an early age. He used to sit upon an aralia tree and read loudly. Even at meals he read a book or a newspaper. I never had to tell him to study. He did all by himself, she says. His father worked in the survey department. He died in 1992. Then came our most difficult period. Everything that happened increased his determination to go forward. Fearing arrest by the police and the army present at his home, AKD could not attend the father's funeral. AKD's interest in politics became evident when he was sitting for his ALs. By that time, his life was under threat. His uncle was murdered, says the mother. Lies, mud and falsehoods. Especially during election time, rumours, heresy, speculation etc. become rife. Heresy cannot be considered evidence in a court hearing but in a way they become important for those who study human nature as they may give clues on current social thinking, communication, behaviour, traditions and culture. Leading political characters become targets of such during elections. AKD, Sajith and Ranil were not spared by those rumour mongers. Ranil's deputy Ruin claims a post-election sinister disinformation campaign against his leader, it was reported his security detail had been withdrawn and the officers were expected to report to the police divisions to which they have been transferred. However, the acting IGP has denied it and said the officers are still providing security for him. Also, Ruin refers to a video said to have been of the kitchen at the President's house. It actually is from a kitchen in a foreign country, he adds. The former President and the former First Lady never used the President's house for personal purposes. They only used it for official work, he said. Anyway, it is wrong to circulate falsehoods and mud against anyone. Gammon Peeler's strange talk to AKD. Pressure is being exerted to publicise two Easter Sunday Commission reports. Gammon Peeler charges the two reports received by Ranil when he was the president had not been made public. If not, people will think Ranil has returned even after they had ousted him, says Gammon Peeler. Trouble everywhere, but no evading the election. Amid all their existing trouble, parties are presently preparing for the general election. Even those without an iota of hope cannot evade it. Almost all mainstream parties are in crisis, unable to finalise their nomination lists. Fight on to contest from NPP. Not even the NPP, which runs the country in the interim, finds it easy to prepare its nominations. On one hand, there is an overwhelming number of would-be candidates. On the other hand... Both the JVP and the NPP are rallying under Compass, making the task more complex. Even some notable figures such as lawyer Manoj and Amila are doubtful to get nominations. It is a worst-case scenario for the other parties. Clashes in Colombo for gas cylinder. For gas cylinder, the list for Colombo is a complicated one. Who is the district leader? Dinesh from Trophy or Prema Jayantha from Chair? Dinesh is most likely to make it from the national list. If not, the other one is an unlikely candidate since he demands to be the district leader. SLFP's Faser wants a written assurance of a national list position, saying Basil didn't keep his promise last time. If the presidential poll's result is anything to go by, Gas Cylinder will get a maximum five national list seats. But there are about 20 hopefuls in the waiting list. Shashindra and SM are undecided. In Monaragala... Berugoda, Kumarasiri, Dayashan and Wijithamuni say they will not contest. Shashindra and Pushpa Kumara remain undecided. Will Mahinda contest? The SLPP expects its leader Mahinda to decide within days if he would contest, says General Secretary Kariawasam. He was speaking to journalists yesterday, 07. 
Sajith gives a new job to Iran. Sajith says none who is found to have received bar permits and other gratifications from Ranil will get nominations. So, a committee headed by Iran will inquire into objections raised against certain nominees in the SJB-led alliance. He is supported in the task by Dinal Philip, Nalin Disanayake and SD Jayanatha, all President's councils. Some say they won't find it any easier to settle the matter. When Harsha found no answer coming... Dr. Harsha had no answer to give when inquired if Sajith's loss was due to people's opposition to crossovers to the SJB. Participating in Dharana 360 last night, he was asked that repeatedly. When pressed on, he said the nomination list for the general election has changed due to an acceptance of the sort. He is a good speaker. But he cannot say the truth due to the wrong side he is in, say some. AKD follows Ranil's path. Wajira says AKD's regime is following in the footsteps of Ranil's. The UNP will support him in that, he says. Commenting on this, Sharal Lakthilake remarks on Facebook that people should commend Ranil for his service to get them to cross the Vine Bridge and AKD for his political determination to take that forward without a change. Samara Singh he reacts to Namal's jibe. Namal says he will fully support if the so-called Rajapaksa wealth hidden in Uganda and Seychelles is brought home. It is said to be $18 billion, so repaying debt won't be a problem. We will not need the IMF or the World Bank. My family and our party will fully support bringing that money to Sri Lanka. That's how he says it. Wasantha Samarasinghe gives him a good reply. When we go to Dubai, Rajapaksas hide the money elsewhere. That's why there is a delay in catching thieves. According to him, when the good governance regime of 2015 looked in Dubai for the $1,100 million swindled by the Rajapaksas, that money had already been transferred to other accounts. The reason was that Ranil and Ravi K revealed it in Parliament before the investigators went there, adds Samarasinghe. By the time the then FCID chief, Ravi Wadiyalankara, went to the British Virgin Islands to look for money in Red Rose Company accounts, $22 million had been transferred, he adds. The entire family will have to answer when investigations begin into money transfers in Dubai, Seychelles and Singapore, whereabouts of the money in the Krish deal and how Yoshitha bought land at Duwa Road in Pitakote for 780 million rupees, he says further. Samarasinghe urges the public to inform immediately if they have any information about the thieves. That's it for today. The leader, Deshita Magakiana, Pro Tipelagasma.